Hey guys, this is Tim from Printing for Parties. Today we're going to learn how to change colors on a pre-made JPEG or PNG image. For example, changing colors on one of Muchka's clip art images. Traditionally, you cannot change specific colors embedded in these types of files, but I'll show you how it's done in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start with one of Muchka's clip art images. It's one of the girls from the Hip Hop Girls clip art pack. If you're not familiar with Muchka's clip art or this particular pack, there'll be links down in the description below. So we have this girl. Um, it's a great piece of clip art. Uh, she's wearing this hot pink outfit. And I have a customer that I designed the invitation for who likes the clip art image, but she would prefer the girl to be with a purple outfit on. Now, with JPEGs and PNGs, typically you cannot change the colors because the color profile is embedded into the image. So all these colors are embedded as part of the image. It's not layered like a Photoshop file would be or a vector file where you can easily just change specific colors. So because this is all just one flat image, then we cannot change a specific color. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop with two different options. Uh, there are many different options, but these are the two easiest options that I found or that I figured out how to do it. And it's fast and easy. So you can change the color literally in seconds. After you, you watch this video and practice it a couple times, it'll just take you a second to do it. So the first option I'm gonna show you is how to do it with a adjustment layer. So I like to work with non-destructive um, images. What that means is, I like to work like, for example, we have this image up here. I don't want to destroy or alter the original image. So I have this labeled as pink. Let's go ahead and just change this to original. And then what I'm going to do is I make sure I'm highlighted on that image. And then I'm going to hit Command J or Control J. So it's Command J on the Mac and Control J on your PC. And now duplicate the layer. So it duplicated right there. I'm going to rename this to purple and I am going to go ahead and hide the original image. So whatever I do right now will only affect the purple layer or my duplicate copy of the image. So now that I have the image highlighted, I'm going to go ahead down to my adjustment layers icon here, click on that and I'm going to pull up the hue and saturation layer control panel. So there's a lot of little features in here that uh, you can learn about, and I'll do another video on this at another time, but I'm just gonna go over it real quick, how you would change a color real easily and quickly. So the first thing you wanna do is click on this hand here and then mouse over to the color group that you wanna change. So in this example, we wanna change all the pink to purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then I can go ahead and, and alter the hue of that coloring. So I can, as you see, everything's now turning purplish and blue, or you can go to different, all different colors here. So let's go to a purple. And I'm going to darken that purple by hitting the lightness. I'm going to darken that up. And there I have a girl that's changed to purple. Her pink outfit is now purple. Now, in reality, that's just an adjustment layer. So that... That's this layer here that sits on top of this layer and it only is available or only shows when the layer is on. So if I turn off the layer, it goes back to pink. To make that permanent on this particular layer, you hit Command or Control E to bring it down over the layer. And now it is part of that layer. So now I cannot change that back unless if I go through the process again. So that's how you change a color. That's the first way how to change a color in an image. And that's very quickly. So if you know how to do it, it's very fast. So after you practice it, let's get in. Uh, I'm going to do this again, just real quick to show you just how fast it really is. Oh, uh, did I spell that right? No, I didn't, of course, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on that image. Select my hue saturation. Click here. Pink. And I want purple. There's a purple. I'm going to darken it up a little bit just because. And that took a few seconds to do. So that's your first method of uh, changing the color. 
The second method, which I like a little bit better because it gives you more control over the colors that you select. Oh, you know what? I should, let me do this. Let me create another image so that we can re reference to the next method. So I'm gonna use the same method again, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save the image so that we can reference side by side. Um, so we're gonna start with Control Command J to make a duplicate, purple, and this time I will spell it correctly. There you go. I'm gonna turn off that one. I'm gonna go ahead and do a hue saturation again. I'm gonna select my pink. And I'm going to change the hue to a purple. And I'm going to darken that purple up. Okay. I'm going to make it solid. I'm going to select her. I'm going to create a new image. And I'm going to place her in it. Okay, and we're just going to keep that in the background for a second. All right, so let's get rid of this purple image. Now we're back to our original. And again, uh, now doing the second second method, it's by replace color. And that's in your, um, your image options. So what I'm gonna do, again, I like to work non-destructively, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it. Turn the original off, name this one purple. And I'm going to go up here to image, adjustments, replace color. Now you have this replace color control panel that pops up. Again, there's other features to this that you could play with. I'm just going to show you again how to do it quick and dirty. So I'm going to select on this color. I'm going to cancel that out. Click on her pink. And then I'm going to adjust this slider. Because the lower the number is, the less shades or variations of that pink color you're going to get so like at zero notice there's glasses there's something missing here in between so the nose bridge is missing and also the ear uh hooks or whatever they call this part of the, the glasses they're missing also missing is her wristband and the shaded parts on the shirt are missing but if i increase this fuzziness those other additional tones of pink will come into play. So now I have all the pink selected and then I can change my hue down here again to a purple. So I like this purple here, but I want it to be darker. And she's all set. Press OK. And there's my finished color. So now let's just zoom in a little bit here. And you'll see that there's this little bit of pink outline. You know, with printing, you're not going to really see that. Because purple is made of red and blue or pinks and blues. Um, so you're really not going to see that when it prints. However, on this image, when we enlarge this one. We're going to see that. They're a little bit more pronounced, these pinks. Where that can be controlled on the second option, which is the replace color option. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you kind of like even here, I guess this is kind of purplish, but maybe we can uh, control that coloring as well. So let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and we're gonna try this. Go back to the original. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and Duplicate again with Control or Command J. So we duplicate that. I'm going to turn on that layer. I'm going to rename it purple. And with that layer selected, I am going to go ahead and uh, pull up image, adjustments, replace color. I'm going to go ahead and select the pink color. And we're going to go ahead and change it to that purple again. So now I'm going to zoom in and let's take a look here. Um, so we see a, a little bit of a pink that we have here. Oh, come on, let's go. Here we go. So we still have that little halo of pink here, but not nearly as much as before. Also, I don't kind of like these magenta-ish magenta stripes in here. So I'm going to change that as well. 
So now let me show you what happens when we go to do that or how to do that and uh, how we're going to fix things. So I'm going to zoom in real close here and I'm going to select on this uh, eyedropper with the plus sign to it. So I'm going to select on that and what that allows you to do is add more colors to this pink that you want to, um, I guess, select and change the coloring. So I'm going to go ahead in here and zoom in and try to get on the pink. Now notice her skin tone just changed. Let me uh, undo that. So you see how it's a nice creamy brown right now. Once I select on one of these colors, it go, it changes to like a reddish brown. And that's okay. So I got that selected. And also here, notice there's a lot more to her selection. And that's because uh, skin tones and her hair is kind of made up with uh, hues of red. So when I select it on that pinkish hue, it kind of selected all of those things. But that's okay. We're, we're going to fix that in a second. So I want to now move down to where those stitches were. So these dark stitches, I'm going to select that. And that even changes it more that more of our images are selected. So remember I told you about this fuzziness. This fuzziness will determine how much of the pink or how many variations or rain, color range of that pink will be selected. So now that we have a lot selected, as you can see by this image, we can actually drop that down. And we'll notice that in doing so, her skin tone goes back to normal because we're getting less colors. So I'm gonna drop that all the way down to, I don't see any more skin tone highlighted, which is right about there. So doing that, we got this pink to come back. So I'm gonna, with the plus sign, a dropper with the plus sign, I'm gonna click on that. And now that added that particular color or group of colors into the design. And if we zoom in here, we're gonna see we have a lot less pink. It's more like a darker purple around here. Now you can sit here and fine tune this uh, as much as you need to, to get the actual coloring to work for you. But when you're doing this, zoom out at it and kind of look at it at when you're at a one-to-one a -one ratio. And that's pretty much what it's gonna print out at. So you can get a very high resolution and use that for print compared to the other one where now you're gonna have a pink halo. So it's better to have a darker purple halo than a pink halo. So it's kind of like a outline or whatever. But with this particular image, this is great right here. And that's how you change your colors. So I'm gonna press okay. That color is changed. The girl is highlighted. I'm gonna copy her. I'm gonna pull up the design I was working on which is this here and I'm gonna paste her in here now she pasted in at her full size of whatever she was in that file that we were working on and that particular instance she's almost seven inches tall so here she is almost seven inches tall obviously we're gonna reduce her to fit into her spot so by doing so I'm gonna click on the shift button click on one of the corner nodes and I'm gonna reduce her in proportion so whatever the reduction is in height is also going to go in width. So she's proportionate. Then I can place her. And now our image is pretty much done. So there you have two ways to change colors in a PNG or JPEG image. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe as I'll put out new Photoshop tutorials and tutorials on how to design fun party ideas such as Hershey bar wrappers, stickers, labels, banners, signs, all that good stuff. Be sure to hit the bell so you're notified when I do put out new videos. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and stay blessed.